The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Dixit Ecclesiastes Vanitas vanitatum et omnia vanitas Thus saith Koheleth Vanity of vanities and all is vanity Hi guys, Ian here. There has been a rise in people having a sense of urgency to be entertained properly. I understand I've been tackling this for the longest bloody time, yet many are still obstinate in their craft because it's what they know best. I admit I'm also tempted to make this channel an all real talk one and follow the path of Makagago at some point, but after Nico David debunked, debunked him, and after his stint in Rafi Tulfo's show, I lost my respect on the guy as a YouTuber. And I realized that I am better than just doing real talks just to this. I still wish Mark Jason well being a first time father though. And I guess he took my advice to lay low or so I think. As his partner is pregnant by the time I made my piece known about his involvement with the kind Pepe incident. But you know, I digress. And yet, I might have made an M, uh, made MG style commentaries about church matters. So quick disclaimer, I'm no expert and no I am not the guy behind the Pinoy Catholic. He's anonymous and uh, I do not want to imitate his antics and get smacked with a cheap shot from someone whose medical condition is like that of Skastaki. So let's get into this video's real talk. Trashy people take pride on their trashy content. Cases in point, number one, Daryl Yap. The convicted pedophile and one of the guys behind Vincentiments. And number two, Rick's the seminarian who unfortunately is a real seminarian. Unahin ko na si Daryl. We're aware he has stirred the hornet's nest when he proposed a BL story, basically a homosexual love story between two males about two altar servers who are in love with each other. And we all know he got the holy ire of altar boys from left, right, and center because Daryl the pedo exploited the weakness of some of the more effeminate boys in the ministry of the altar. Of course, some of the boys who don the cassock and surplice see this as an attack to the ministry, and they virtually started bringing pitchforks aside from processional crosses while wearing their vestments. If not for the self-styled pseudo-liturgist Paulo Cobangbang who told them to calm the bloody hell down, it would have gone worse. But you know, that's just tip of the iceberg. Daryl Yap is actually a YouTuber tur turned director who created the story behind Joabol and starred Kim, Kim Molina in the film adaptation. The thing is that some of his early content in YouTube are witty at best, but eventually as time passes on, his content has gone from weird to distasteful. In colloquial parlance, may masabi lang, may malang. What's common in these YouTube videos is that the female actor or actors who per portray skits in these videos turn from hugot-spewing hugot normies to almost naked Amazon-like characters still spewing distasteful hugot lines. But before you can comment, no, I won't watch them. His latest video entitled, Are You Damn? is just too distasteful that even single parents are up in arms against Daryl. Also, real talk lang. Kung convicted pedophile si Daryl Yap, bakit malaya siyang nakapaggawa ng mga sukot na YouTube videos? 
And seriously, halos bawat video may eksenang naghuhubad ng babae sa, git- sa galit at ines at nakabrad panty na lang para hindi masabing porn ng content. Not to mention stirring the stereotypes and the stigmas like stirring the hornet's nest. Just like what he did with the altar server's BL com- concept. So, I'm thinking, it's either he's chasing for clout or just plainly seeking unwanted attention through the rubbish he throws on YouTube and, so- and other social media in general. Yes, I say it now, basura at toxic ang content ng Vince Sentiments. To Daryl's credit though, he still has some sense to engage in discussion with priests about his BL concept and his knowledge of courage, the Catholic ministry catered for people with same-sex attractions. But as for the next item, the person has no sense of engaging in a conversation and will do everything, even blocking and invalidating criticisms just to save face. If you know Rick's the Seminarian, he is this wannabe social media personality who has a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube channel, and I guess a TikTok as well. The thing is, he's a real bloody seminarian. Now, I understand he's doing God's work and I have nothing against his efforts in propagating the gospel through uh, modern technology. Nothing against that. It's just that his social media attitude of toxic positivity and refusing to listen to attend and attend to criticisms does not help him becoming a good priest in from the get-go. I quote the words of someone I asked a commentary of about about this prior to uh, recording this video and uh, while I'm developing the script. Ricks won't have that sense of dialogue and would resort to blocking and invalidating people who would correct him. Mind you, this guy uh, corrected Ricks and he was blocked just because he made uh, he made that correction. Just to save his reputation of being respectable. What made me squeeze in this snotty seminarian and a centralite at that, basically a seminarian resi- residing in the University of Santo Tomas, is his commentary about the blind faith of the supporters of the president, which we commonly call as the DDS. To put in brief, uh, his hooker line for that statement uh, said, I wish I had, this is, the quote, this is a quote from Ricks, I wish, I wish I had the faith of a DDS. Now, while he made a good contextual explanation about that, he made one very dangerous error. He equated the worship due to God and God alone to the false sense of messianic confidence on the president without getting too political on this. I say he made the wrong choice of context. And besides, marami naman pwedeng examples sa ganyang klaseng mensahe pero ginawa niya ba yan para gumawa ng clout? Kung ganun, hindi na siya naiiba kay Makagago, kay Daryl Yap, kay Claro the Third, sa Jamil, at sa napakaraming mga prankster sa YouTube. I have also encountered social media pages and entities made by seminarians and do relatively the same thing as Rick is doing and then some. Maybe uh, maybe memes, uh, meme videos, uh, meme statements, and whatever. The links to their pages are on the description below. Now, the main difference is that they're anonymous and they make some sense without resorting to putting their faces on camera and scraping the barrel, or in this case, the garbage can, for memes, hookers, and hookah lines. Now, this is not a good comparison, but if you know Ilaw Cruz, the ex-seminarian behind uh, Light from the Light, uh, he only has a Facebook page, also linked below, as well as a personal Twitter account, and he's also on TikTok, so uh, better check him out. What makes him different from Rick's aside from their respective statuses is that he does not take pride in his work and respectfully accepts criticisms against him. Besides, Ilo is already married. Sorry, ladies. So whatever he's doing on social media, 
his wife closely monitors him. In short, matik na. And I'm also prepared as well for the fact that this might be my last video for a while as many of his supporters may block me. But, you know, I'm, prepare I'm prepared for that risk. In, in meme speak, fight me. So, real talk, Rix is a seminarian with no sense of shame in sharing his thoughts about the world while it is his bounden duty to prepare himself to be an alter Christus, which is a term we Catholics use for priests as they constantly make present the sacrifice of Christ on the cross in every Mass. Now, from what I read from some of my personal contacts, contacts, Rix violated the so-called unwritten law of the seminary, often ignored by seminarians of today. It's keep your head down, keep quiet, and be humble. And to add that, the same also applies on social media. So it is no wonder, therefore, the Pinoy Catholic, TPC, is screwing him up. But then again, the guy behind TPC is a layman and is anonymous, so again, it's not me. So it's a bit of a problem as well since the guy behind TPC is easily triggered with nincompoops. Well, pardon me as well if I'm nitpicky when it comes to sacerdotal standards. But given the state of our church's clergy, I don't know if whatever attitude Ricks has would help him get ordained. And you might ask me, what? is that attitude well i hope you have heard about narcissism because from the looks of it rick seems to be a narcissist and so i repeat the words of koheleth to end this video vanity of vanities and all is vanity with all that said this is ian reminding you that at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world until then, flat the curve, stay at home, wear gas mask, goggles, and if you can afford it, PPEs. And if you're going out, and if you're not, just stay at home. And uh, as always, see you next time. Bye, guys.